Health, head of the stroke unit at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Odro Nkrumah, says the stroke has reached an alarming rate and is currently the second most common admission. 136 stroke cases have been recorded from January to June this year. Out of the number, 36 have died. Evelyn Tingma has more. Stroke used to be a disease for older people, usually 60 years and above. But today, that is not the case. Medical officers say several risk factors have put a lot more people at higher risk, including young people and even children. A study conducted by Stroke Investigative Research and Education Network revealed 35 to 40 percent of stroke patients are below the ages of 45 years. The Kolebu Teaching Hospital records 20 to 30 stroke patients a month. 36 people have died of the disease from January to June this year. Head of the stroke unit at the Kolebu Teaching Hospital, Dr. Odro Nkrumah, says the country is sitting on a time bomb. Stroke is one of our leading causes of admissions and maybe the last two to three years it's always been in the top two causes of death you know in the department you know records he said high cholesterol hypertension diabetes alcohol intake and smoking are major risk factors hypertension account for over 80 85 percent of stroke incidents or people having strokes you understand so and that is also where the hope comes from because then it means that stroke becomes largely a preventable condition. Right? Preventable because studies have shown that when you are able to manage those risk factors, will have potential being number one, your risk of having a stroke reduces drastically. Registered dietitian Andrew Pabi urged Ghanaians to adopt healthy lifestyles. We keep hearing people say that um, you need a little alcohol in your body and all of that. But it's been shown that alcohol intake can cause what we call atrial fibrillation, which can lead to a stroke. All right, so there's no safe level of or safe amount of alcohol. High intake of um, fat, fatty foods or foods that have a lot of um, saturated fatty acids such as um, animal products, you take it in excess, it can increase your blood cholesterol and this can cause a stroke. The fact that it's an eggs are safe doesn't mean you can eat it anyhow. It could be a factor which could make your cholesterol levels go up. And salt has been shown to be one of the things that can make the blood pressure go up. So if you are taking a lot of salt in your diet and then it's going to lead to a stroke. All right? And also physical inactivity. He further encouraged Ghanaians to seek early medical care. If you are eating the wrong things that will make your sugar go up, and you are taking the drugs to make your sugar come down, I mean, the drugs do not work. And such patients, they get frustrated, and then they might even default on their drugs or resort to other things. And because they're not really taking care of themselves well, it leads to a stroke. All right, same applies for hypertension as well. The world marks stroke day on the theme, don't be the one. They are saying that one in four people will get a stroke in their lifetime. So don't be the one. Because you don't want to be the one getting a stroke. It's very, very, very um, expensive to manage. It's better you prevent it than to get it. So I urge the public to um, go for checkups.